Hey guys, yesterday we talked about Renesa. Today we are again talking about Renesa, but it's a relationship with William Shakespeare, the great bard. He was not of an age, but of but for all time. This is a quotation by Ben Johnson on Shakespeare. This shows the importance of Shakespeare, the Renesa period. I just told you about uh, the basic facts that Renesa literally means rebirth and rebirth of classical literature and art form. A Renesa occurs when life is good. People are not fighting for survival. Like means we get a lot of uh, good things to do. It is a high time for art and literature. Italian Renesa. Yesterday I told you a uh, difference between Italian Renesa and English Renesa. And we will have uh, you know short notes on that so that uh, we can uh, discuss this topic anywhere so Italian Renesa occurs 13 to in between 13 to 1550 AD and marked as high time in art think teenage mutant ninja turtle Michelangelo and Donatello Raphael Leonardo and uh, some authors like Petrarch, Sonnet, and uh, Castiglione, courtier book, influenced the English Renaissance period. What was English Renaissance period? Occurred between 1400 to 1600, and began with Henry VIII and ended with James II. Remember this fact that it started with Henry VIII and ended with James I. Highest point occurred during Queen Elizabeth's first reign. Okay, the highest point, Elizabeth. So three kings we must remember. First is Henry VIII, and second is James I, and highest point was in Elizabeth's first reign. High time in literature. They were Sidney, Spencer, Marlowe, and Shakespeare. Courtiers, professional. Uh, Bishops were very important. Social social classes were strictly enforced. Theatres thrived but were considered low class. Social mobility. During this time period, it was nearly impossible to rise above your birth. If you were born a peasant, you died a peasant. What were the social conditions of that time? Family name and nobility were very important. Uh, I hope uh, you can relate this to Romeo and Juliet. The second fact, family name and nobility were very important. One way to try and rise above your birth was through the practice of factories. Though, how far you could rise was predetermined by your family name. Again, family name, Romeo and Juliet. The Tudors, the important, uh, you can say, the key term while talking about Renesa, we need to know about Tudor family. Henry VIII from the Tudor line had six wives, Catherine of Aragon, divorced, Annie Bollion beheaded, Jane Seymour died, Anne of Cleves divorced, and Catherine Howard beheaded and Catherine Spall survived. Oh, that was great. <laughs> okay, Catherine Spall. And <clears throat> divorced and uh, divorced the Catholic Church in order to marry his mistress. Okay, this was, uh, you know, a great thing what happened. Okay, and wanted a male heir, fathered two daughters Mary and Elizabeth and one son Edward he was a Catholic Protestant Catholic Protestant and Prince Edward is here can you see him this is the sole male heir of uh, heir of heir to Henry throne he was Protestant and upheld his faith in the country once in power was ill and died shortly after gaining the throne. Left behind no heir, too young to do so, means he was too young that time. Bloody Mary, 
After Edward's short reign and early death, Mary took the English throne. Devoutly Catholic and looking to like uh, previous king, and looking to vindicate her mother, Henry's first wife, Mary vowed to wipe out Protestantism. Ordered the mass ex- execution of Protestants to restore the Catholic faith. That's why she is called Bloody Mary. Died of cancer. God punished her. <laughs> okay. Queen Elizabeth I. Bastard Queen. Henry, uh, daughter of Henry VIII and Queen Boleyn. Was both acknowledged and disowned by her father when he was alive. Devoutly Protestant, she was Protestant. So remember, she was Protestant, and uh, Bloody Mary Queen was. Uh, she was Catholic, and her father was also Catholic. Okay, there. Virgin Queen never married. Used her feminine wiles to gain and maintain power. The art of uh, flirtation became a lucrative enterprise during her reign. Encouraged poetry and theater. As we know that Renessa was at its highest peak at the time of Queen Elizabeth's powerful, wise, important monarch, sustained many plots against her life. James I, when it ended, Renessa ended, was Queen Elizabeth's godson, inherited her throne. Patron of theatre, Shakespeare's King's Men were his favorite acting troupe solidified the protestant faith with the creation of the king james bible what does this have to do with shakespeare now uh, you probably have this question we are talking about uh, elizabeth james and uh, henry VIII. okay so what does this to have with shakespeare let's talk about that as well let him stop. The Italian Renaissance influenced the English Renaissance. This is a fact. William Shakespeare was born while Elizabeth was queen and became wealthy through King James. He was his patron. Henry VIII is the king at the start of the English Renaissance. His children ruled during most of uh, this period. This era ended soon after all of his children were dead. Biography do we really need uh he was baptized on uh, april 26 1564 some say 23 okay and uh, there was no such thing like his birth certificate as we have jaise hamare birth certificate hai but um, it is also considered 23 1564 he was married at uh, the age of 18 to 26 year old Annie Hathaway. She was uh, pregnant. He fathered three sons, two girls, one boy. His son died young. He was part owner of the Globe Theatre. He died on April 23rd. He maintained quite good. Okay. And uh, he was born on 23rd and he was he died on April 23rd. Some say 26 baptized. It was everything else that known about the. This is not a mystery. Now, uh, everything else that is known about the world's greatest writer is speculation, best guesses, and agreed upon the facts. You know, and we just started studying. Due to the lack of actual evidence of Shakespeare's life, many people have questioned whether he really existed or not. कि इतना बड़ा राइटर था और शेक्सपियर ने अपने बारे में कुछ नहीं लिखा और दुनिया के बारे में बहुत कुछ लिखा The collection of works credited to him are all too similar to be the works of more than one person एक इंसान से means एक इंसान इतना सारा कैसे लिख सकता है या इतना different kinds of uh, things how he can uh, write तो कुछ लोगों को इस बात पे शक होता है but leave it to them Others argue that Shakespeare could not have been smart enough to write such important literature. Okay. Okay. Pure genius is often misunderstood. Educated guesses on the Shakespeare's biography 
William Shakespeare was one of seven children born to John Shakespeare and Mary Arden. He was born in Estate Four upon Avon. His family was respected and wealthy, but not noble. He attended grammar school and learned Latin. But again, there is no evidence of further education beyond this. By the early 1590s, Shakespeare had left his wife and three children in Stratford upon Avon and travelled over 100 miles away to London to pursue his acting and writing career. Uh, like in India, people go to, you know, Mumbai. Earlier it was Bombay. And there they went London. Okay. Now some people, you know, guess about have uh, the their own guess. Like his marriage was not great. He rarely went home to visit his wife, and upon his uh, death, he willed any his second best bed. Everything else went to his daughter, and he became very wealthy in his lifetime, which afforded him the chance to buy his family's coat of arms, a sign of nobility and the largest estate in Stratford. So let's have some glimpses of his career. He wrote 37 plays and wrote comedies, tragedies, histories and romances and uh, also wrote 154 sonnets and several narrative poems all dedicated to Sir Henry Ruthsley. He was an actor, writer, director and businessman, became known for his imaginative use of language and timelessness. Effects of monarchy now here is the, the question what Renesa brought to him and what he contributed in uh, contributed to Renesa. Shakespeare had to adjust Shakespeare had to adjust his writing based on who was in power in England. Do you think so? Shakespeare उस time adjust करके लिख रहे थे कि कहीं मैं कुछ किसी और के बारे में न लिख दूँ। <laughs> okay, he had to adjust. Under Elizabeth, women were portrayed as strong. Catholicism was mocked. Marriage was not made to be the ultimate goal for characters. So remember this thing. Under James, the practice of courtship was mocked and Shakespeare was freer to fully develop his characters. So did you get it? Means what were the effects of uh, now you can uh, whenever you will go through his works and you will be reading uh, this last part of this PPT will help you to judge how Shakespeare was writing. He was writing according to kings who were his patrons who were helping him who were helping him उस टाइम उसी इसीलिए अगर हम अंडर एल्जेबेस के टाइम पे जो वर्क्स हैं उन्हें देखेंगे तो तो वुमेन वर पोर्ट्रेट एस यंग ओके एंड बिकॉज़ शी शी डिड नॉट गेट मैरिड एंड शी हेटेड दिस आइडिया आई थिंक बिकॉज़ शी वांटेड सम पावर इन लाइफ दैट्स व्हाई डोंट गेट मैरिड ओके जस्ट किडिंग बट अंडर जेम्स द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ courtship was marked and Shakespeare was freer to fully develop his character so this is the effect all right impact I hope you have got a little bit more idea about Renesa and if you wish we can could uh, we can carry on with the same discussion we can take one by one the writers like Marlowe Shakespeare and others if you want to have some insights on uh, you know summaries you can check out in comment box. You will get the link to 25 summaries. Bye bye. Take care. See you in next video. Good luck for exams.